In one of the earlier sessions, we developed this model. Now, what I've done is I've just refined this model and put it in here. In the previous session, we did write this particular statement, that is the problem statement for this particular model. I'm just going to do this for this particular model as well, in order to further emphasize and to in develop a better understanding as to how to draft a problem statement. Now, what I've done is I've got a template here to ascertain the extent to which and then here you write in your independent variables. Now in this case, my independent variable is servant leadership. Impacts the dependent variable. So what is your dependent variable? It is environmental behavior. through the mediating role of, and what are your mediators? Green identity, green empowerment, green trust, and green climate. So these were your mediating variables and the moderating role of and your moderating variable was green locus of control. And let's say I want to do it in education sector. So this is how you can have your problem statement. Now again, I have emphasized it previously and I'm going to emphasize it now as well. That before problem statement, you've got to have a complete background of your study, the value, the importance of these variables, the importance of relationships, the existing research that has been done on these relationships, the gaps in existing research. And based on all that, you come up with a comprehensive, concise problem statement. Now, this particular problem statement is later transformed into research questions and research objectives. Now, let me do it in front of you, just one or two again, although I've done it previously in the last session, but a quick one. So research objective to assess the impact of what is my IV servant leadership on environmental behavior. And similarly, we can have the research question whether there is a significant impact of servant leadership on environmental behavior. Now, full forms are recommended. Again, for each of the relationships, you can have your research objectives and those research objectives transformed into research questions. Let's say I'm going to do another one to find the impact of Let's say servant leadership on green identity. Servant leadership on green identity. Is there an impact of servant leadership on green identity? Now this is your research question. Again, you can have main research questions, main research objectives and sub research objectives and sub research questions based on those main research questions or research objectives. Now let's say I've got a main research objective. So to assess the mediating role of green identity on the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior. Now this particular main objective can be subdivided into, let's say I'm just going to quickly do one to discover the impact of servant leadership on green identity to find the influence of green identity on environmental behavior to assess the impact of servant leadership on environmental behavior so one so you do this, what you are doing is you are actually transforming this mediating role here, green identity, 
between servant leadership and environmental behavior from one mediating objective into three sub objectives. Now, similarly, you can do this for research questions as well. And then these research objectives will have to be in question form. Again, the verbs that you use should be outcome oriented or action verbs. You can Google it and you will find a complete list of action verbs in research that you can utilize. I hope this session would have helped you further understand how to draft a problem statement and based on the problem statement, how to draft your research objectives and research questions. Thank you very much.